By the middle of the 1930s, some 18 million people a week, both adults and children, went to the cinema. It offered entertainment at very reasonable prices. Evening tickets were a shilling, and children could attend Saturday morning showings for as little as a tuppence or a threepence. Through the 1920s, the Victoria Hall in Bracknell was used to show films. Attendees sat on wooden benches, so it wasn't very comfortable. But in 1934, the Regal Cinema in Bracknell opened. It had 396 seats and a 19-foot-wide proscenium. A similar cinema in Tring cost £12,000 to build. Some records have Harold Seymour Scott as the architect for the Regal in Bracknell. Others favour Henry Cox. The first film shown at the new cinema was The Silent Voice, starring George Arliss and Betty Davis. Not exactly a swashbuckler, but the film was highly acclaimed for Arliss's performance as a famous pianist who goes deaf. I can't! I can't do it! Battle! Battle! How does he take that out of the house? I can't bear the sight of it. But sure. Have you with me? Do you want to drive me mad? Don't you know this is human to me? And it's mocking me! Mocking me! Get it out of the house! And you! We played together, you and I! Well, we'll never play again! New releases were shown Monday to Saturday for six days, but often, since Bracknell was a fairly small location, films changed midweek. The programme was usually a double bill of main feature and B feature, supported by a newsreel and a cartoon. Many Bracknellites recall that the first they heard that Edward VIII had abdicated was whilst at the cinema. Special children's shows had been presented from the cinema's early days. In Bracknell, one afternoon a week was devoted to children's programmes, and all the children for miles around would go to the cinema. Modern Bracknellites have much more choice. The Odeon has 10 screens, and Cineworld has 12 screens.